In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Zagreb. At number one, we have the Museum of Broken Relationships. This unique museum is dedicated to the memories of failed relationships. Each exhibit has been donated by individuals from around the world, showcasing seemingly random items with a story behind them. The museum offers a mix of humor and poignancy, making it a must visit for those looking for something different. At number two, we have the Lanushi Horseshoe. This series of squares, fountains, and grand buildings is reminiscent of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Designed by Milan Lanucci in the 19th century, it includes attractions like the Botanical Garden and the Croatian National Theater. At number three, we have Jaren Lake. A popular spot during the summer, Jaren Lake offers a range of activities from rowing to skateboarding. It's also a great place to relax on its pebble beaches or enjoy the lakeside nightlife. At number four, we have the Dolak Market. Known as the Belly of Zagreb, this daily farmer's market is a vibrant spot to buy fresh produce, seafood, and local artisanal items. It's a wonderful place to experience the local culture and daily life of Zagrebians. At number five, we have Gradis. This medieval district, once populated by artisans and tradesmen, is now a picturesque area perfect for strolls. It houses significant landmarks like St. Mark's Square and the historic St. Mark's Church. At number six, we have the Mimara Museum. Named after art collector Ante Topic Mimara, this museum boasts a collection that includes works by renowned artists like Monet, Renoir, and Degas. At number seven, we have the Archaeological Museum. Showcasing Zagreb's rich history, the museum features artifacts from various civilizations. Highlights include the Vusidol Dove and the Liberlinteus, an Etruscan mummy. At number eight, we have Capital. Historically significant, Capital was where the clergy was based. The iconic Zagreb Cathedral, with its rich history and architecture, is a must visit here. At number nine, we have Tikal Chicheva Street. By day, it's a picturesque street perfect for a romantic walk. By night, it transforms into a lively spot with some of Zagreb's best cafes, restaurants, and night spots. At number 10, we have the Lower Town. This area, characterized by its wide avenues and neoclassical buildings, is home to prestigious hotels, green spaces, and several museums. At number 11, we have Jelasic Square. A bustling hub of the city, this square is a great place to people watch and learn about Croatian history through the statue of Count Josip Jelakic. At number 12, we have the statue of Maria Juric Zagorka. Celebrating Croatia's first female journalist, this statue is a tribute to a cultural icon and her contributions to literature and journalism. At number 13, we have Samobor, a medieval town near the Slovenian border. Samobor boasts beautiful Baroque architecture and the ruins of the historic Samobor Castle. At number 14, we have Karlovac. Known as the City of Parks, Karlovac is a town built as a defense against the Ottomans. Its unique six-pointed star design and green spaces make it a delightful visit. At number 15, we have the Lysitar. These traditional heart-shaped honeydew cookies are a symbol of Zagreb. Taking weeks to prepare, they are intricately decorated and recognized by UNESCO as a representation of Northern Croatian culture. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Zagreb. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.